you know, that maybe it's their turn or that I thought that it was somehow owed to me. I'm running because of what Dr. King called the fierce urgency of now. The fierce urgency of now. Because I believe there's such a thing as being too late. And that hour is almost upon us. Uh, we are at a defining moment in our history. Our nation is at war, our planet is in peril, and the dream that so many generations fought for feels like it's slowly slipping away. And you see it here in San Antonio. People are working harder for less. They've never paid more for gas at the pump, never paid more for their electricity, never paid more for college educations. It's harder to save, it's harder to retire. Our health care system leaves millions of people out without health insurance. And, and those who have health insurance, you know what's happened. You've seen your co-payments and your deductibles and your premiums going up and up and up. Our school system, despite the slogans, leave millions of children behind, unable to compete in a global economy. Black and Hispanic kids have dropout rates in some schools, half the children don't graduate. In such circumstances, we can't afford to wait. We can't wait to fix our schools. We can't wait to fix our health care system. We can't wait to get our kids off the streets. We can't wait to fix global warming. We can't wait to create good jobs and good wages. We cannot wait to bring this war in Iraq to an end. We cannot wait. We cannot wait. And so I decided to run because of my belief that the size of our challenges had outstripped the capacity of a broken politics to solve. I was convinced that the American people were looking for something new. That they were tired of a politics that was about tearing each other down instead of lifting each other up. They were tired of politicians who were more about spin and PR instead of straight talk, telling the truth to the American people. In other words, San Antonio, I was betting on you. I was betting on the American people. That's right, you. I love you back. I was betting on you because some of you know I now live in Chicago, but I'm not originally from Chicago. I, I moved there after college to work as a community organizer to help steel workers who had been laid off of their jobs. And we set up job training programs for the unemployed, and after school programs for youth, and tried to bring economic development to poor communities. And it was hard work, but it was the best education I ever had because it taught me that ordinary people can do extraordinary things when they're given a chance. And do extraordinary things. I learned that change in America doesn't happen from the top down, it happens from the bottom up. And so I entered into this campaign convinced that the American people are a decent people and a generous people, willing to work hard and sacrifice on behalf of future generations, and that if we could just bring people together, if we could get past our divisions of race and religion and region, if we could all decide to work together, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Native American, young, old, rich, poor, If we could come together to challenge the special interests and the lobbyists and the fat cats who've come to dominate Washington, but also to challenge ourselves to be better, to be better parents, and to be better neighbors, and to be better citizens, then I believe there was no problem we could not solve and no destiny we could not fulfill. That was my belief. That was my faith. And I am 
I'm here to report to you, San Antonio, that after traveling across the country for a year, after flying more miles than I could imagine, driving more miles than I care to remember, after talking to hundreds of thousands of people and shaking tens of thousands of hands and kissing hundreds of babies and eating hundreds of chicken dinners. I am here to report that my bet has paid off, that my faith in the American people has been vindicated because everywhere I go, people are ready for change. They want to go in a new direction. They want to turn the page and write a new chapter in American history.